Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sunrise, Florida. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. The Panthers have had this portion of the schedule circled for a while. They're home for a bit, get some practice time in, too. The first game of the homestand, though, James, is always important because what looks like a good thing on the schedule can go south in a hurry if you play poorly and everybody gets agitated. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are... Moments away now from puck drop. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Weber. Feeds the puck to Marchand. In the offensive zone with the puck, you know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Picks off the feed. He got all of that hit on the play. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Florida's got it from behind the net, and he makes the save. Murray's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Pavelski's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass across to Keller. Moves it to the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. Moves the puck to Kessel. The Oilers looking against the half wall. And he comes up with it. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Edmonton's won the draw. With the steal. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Carlson's lugging the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Parisi. Scores! Bill Kessel. Nice. No, he's played some good goal here to run a shutout streak like this. It finally breaks. It's got to break eventually, but that's a good run. The Oilers get on the board first, and they now lead 1-0. That's good execution from them, James. After a pretty tight first half of the period, now they can play from in front. His fifth of the season. Dumps it in. By number 81. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Raffle. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Oilers have it against the wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that one's broken up. The Oilers in transition at center. To his teammate. Right to the middle. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Strong defensive effort. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Stahl. The Panthers have it now. Takes the feed. Right up the gut, here they go. Sherwood's got it in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to Sherwood. Quick feed down low. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Centering pass! Let's one go. Stopped by the goaltender. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Denies him! Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Good defensive stop with the poke check. That pass doesn't go. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Look out, a two-on-one. Here's the pass. He scores! Oh, well, there's a nice one. 200 career goals for him now.
they really read this odd man rush right. They didn't over move the puck. They didn't make one extra pass. When it got into the shooting spot, it was delivered into the net. The Oilers off to a great start here, already up by two. This is how you draw it up on the board. It doesn't work out this way very often, but they're in nice shape. And now it's grabbed by Strollman. Passes it over to Subban. Puck jumped in, and the forwards go for a change. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Keller. Quick feed to Eckholm. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got him along the wall. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves it quickly over to Strawman. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Sends it over. Quick shot. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Jabs the puck away. Edmonton's in transition. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Here's a chance in front. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Edmonton's won it. Puck grabbed by Suter. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Couldn't complete the play. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. And they can't convert to the play. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. The first period in the books, and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy game. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team website. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You can really gain some momentum on your first power play. Even if you don't score, get some chances, make it a positive event. Florida's man advantage is still intact as this period gets underway, and they win the draw. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end, and they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Quick pass to Foligno. And he slides it quickly to Marchand. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The one-timer, and that's blocked. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Edmonton's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Big time stop there. They score! Short-handed! I never got many of these, I'll tell you that, James. What a boost if you could get one. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Edmonton set the tone early in this one, and it continues here in the second. The first period was good. They built upon it here in the second. They haven't given them anything in their own zone, and they've really had the puck a lot. Moves it around along the half wall. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Gets it out of his own end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. 
I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Panthers move to the offensive zone. Nice poke check. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. The Panthers have it behind the cage. Pass it up ahead. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Panthers take it from their own end with time running out on this man advantage. Move to the middle, chance in front, and puts it wide of the cage. Man, it tells you how close it can be. If that's two inches to the other side, it's off the post and in. Saucer pass across. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Murray. Carlson's on the ice for this offensive zone faceoff, and he's going to have to lead this team, James, offensively if they have any hope of getting back in this game. Edmonton's won the draw, and it's a quick pass to Getzlaff. From center, they get into the attacking area and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Not able to connect. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Patrick's going off for interference. Not going to be tough to argue that one away. He just stopped him dead in his tracks. But he doesn't have the puck. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. One of the keys to the game is having an excellent special team. This is their first power play tonight. Takes a shot. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Fleury. With possession along the wall. With the blast. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Flurry's fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Edmonton's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. He grabs the puck here at the point. Sends the pass over. Gives them nothing in front. Sharp reaction save. Stoll's got the puck. Here he is in front. Big save. Edmonton's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. The Panthers win the draw. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Scooped up along the wall by Echo. Pumped away from danger. Big stop by the keeper. That's a lot of hard work for him to make this stop because he's got to find the puck first before he can get his body in front of it. Pavelski's on the attack in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Kessel. Great heads-up play by the defender. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Takes control of the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Picked up along the wall by Pavelski. A chance right in front, and the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. Doesn't always have to look pretty. He stopped a chunk of the puck, and that chunk was just big enough to stay out of the net. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's been a route thus far. 4-0 is where we're sitting. They go on the attack through center. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. And now it's over to Shen, taken by Getzlaff. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Florida's got the puck shorthanded. And now he moves it quickly to Bowie. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to Raffle. And there's the save. Pumps the puck away. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. The 
Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Handles the pass at center. Move to the middle. Whoa. Scores on the one-timer. We practice these drills all the time, and that's to get yourself open in the slot to see if you can get a pass. This is perfect, and he hammers the one-timer in. The Oilers seem to be on the cusp of turning this one into a route, Ray. They're playing at a different level than their opponents. It doesn't look like there's anything that can slow them down. Gets the puck in deep. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Edmonton's got control of the puck, and it totally whiffs on it. It's a straight-up race for the puck, and he denied that opportunity. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Suter's taking it from his own end. And they send it right back to him. Here's a shot from the boards. Stops him cold. Picked up along the boards by Simmons. Quick feed to Stastny. His reflexes on display tonight. Denies him again. Off the skate and scores. You, you can have it bounce off your skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. Simmons is going to have this goal called back. They've ruled this a kicking motion. He's not going to be very happy with this call. It's hard enough to be tangled up in front of the net and to go off his skate. Oh, tight call. The official has to make a call on the ice immediately. He waved off this goal, but after talking to the war room, they look at it under several different looks. He comes back and he says, no, this is a good goal. Caden Primo. All right, both teams ready for the face-off after that lengthy review. Edmonton's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Puck scooped up by Strollman. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. He was locked in there. Ray, as a player, this has got to be a tough one to get up for when you look around. We had this quite a bit in Atlanta, James. You know, you don't win very much. The people don't come. The energy in the building is almost non-existent. Yeah, bring your dog to the stadium night has clearly not clicked this evening. Moves it quickly over to Subban. Puck picked up by Stastny. Denies him in front. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Takes it and looks ahead. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick shot. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Edmonton's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Getzlaff won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Panthers have it against the wall. And that one's stopped. Here's a chance behind the net. Florida's got the puck against the boards. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Florida's game has been pretty good at both ends of the ice, but they can't get a bounce offensively. And as a result, those shots off the post aren't helping him. They still trail. And he's going after him here, and they're going to fight. Yeah, he didn't like that. He got his gloves off pretty quickly. Wow, and it's time for referee Gilles Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. Well, when your team's getting their lunch handed to them, you want to get noticed somehow. Dropping the mitts is one way.
Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play, and face-off here set to resume action. The Oilers win it, and now it's grabbed by Chara. Loses his balance on the play. Quick pass to Shen. Takes that one right in the logo. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. The Oilers with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. Carlson's got the puck in his own zone. Let's it fly. Oh, what a save by Murray. The Oilers move it ahead. From the left side, takes it at center. Shot stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Marchand. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Edmonton's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Florida's won the faceoff. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Fails to find the open man. Couldn't find the intended target. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Willimans Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willimans Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Edmonton's on total cruise control early in this third period. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? Edmonton's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Down the right side and into the zone. Stays with it. Moves it to Pavelski. Scrum ensues along the boards. From behind the net. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. Centering pass. Edmonton's working the puck near the point. Denies him with the save. Hey, guys, can we take another look at that replay? A big hit really sets momentum. Look how quickly the ice ends. That's a solid play. The Oilers have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Getzlaff's won the draw. Here he is in front! Buries it for the goal! I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. We get a look here, James. The faceoff is the key. You win the draw, you're in a scoring spot right away, and it's in the net. Edmonton's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Sends it in on the attack. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Slides it over with pace to Weber. Battling for it along the boards. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. The Oilers have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. 
Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Rister stones him in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. The Panthers move it in. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Florida's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Patrick. Slides the puck across to Graves. Nice pass. Oh, oh, he gives up the body on that. Murray's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. I don't care how much padding you have on. You crouch down to block a shot like that, it's going to hurt. Edmonton showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Stalls won the faceoff. Directs it on over to Foligno. Carlson's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Foligno's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. He's fishing around, trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Florida's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. It's never much fun being on the ice for a shorthanded goal against. They'll have to go and try and fix that right now. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Angles it over to Keller. The Panthers look to start the transition game. Florida's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Made that stop. And the puck leaves the zone. And a strong effort on that play. Tries to get it to Keller. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And he takes a shot. Oh, just wide. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Quick feed to Keller. They're extending offensive zone time. They're going to score here pretty soon. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Desperately trying to get it out of the end. Puck grabbed by Stastny. And he says no! Now over to Meyer. The Panthers are on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it quickly over to Meyer. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy and he's been phenomenal tonight. New York's up next on the schedule as the homestand rolls on. Yeah, they just start to melt game into game into game and that'll be a difficult one to play. You never know what you're going to get from them. Trying to get the puck out of his own end and clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Denied by the goaltender. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And they manage to clear it. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. And that one's broken up. Taken along the wall by Raffle. The man advantage is over. Scores! Eventually, the puck finally goes the net. They've been working at this all night. Finally, in the late stages, they get one. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Panthers still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the oh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Pushes it across to Kessel. Quick pass to Parisi. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Can't catch up to the pass. Florida's got it now. Time of the goal. Nine minutes. Manages to hang on. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Slides the pass over to Kessel. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a great save! Gets Lats back at it after serving that major penalty for fighting. He gets a shot on goal. 
Edmonton's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Into the offensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. The Oilers take it along the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. A chance! Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot, nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. The Panthers get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. And that one's broken up. Smart defensive play there. Sandwiched along the boards. That is a perfectly delivered hit. Rammed him straight into the boards. Puck sent over to Parisi. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. And he regains control of the puck. Can't find his man. Grabbed along the boards by Zuccarello. Oh, scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Really good positioning here by the offensive team. They force that defensive zone turnover, and then they take advantage. It's in the top of the net. Edmonton's taken a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. The Oilers take it across the line. Grabs control of it at the point. And that one's broken up. Here's a short pass to Heischer. Couldn't connect on that pass. Can't connect. Nothing doing on that. Hornquist's moving the puck through his own zone. Florida's gained possession along the boards. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Meyer. Nice zone entry from the middle. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Great stop by Murray. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. Hortquist swooping in on the attack. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Moves it to Meyer. With the stop. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. The Panthers still can't stop the bleeding. They come so close so often, they just cannot find a way to win. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.